Well, hello, friends. This is Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral, Age of Sail, version 9.22, revised 36088 as of today. So, anyways, here we are in the British campaign on hard land and sea, and believe me, it is hard. Battle of Cape St. Vincent is next. And this one is a doozy. This has a ton of SOLs in it, and I don't have any. And they give the win to the enemy. And so the, the enemy has the advantage. And we're stuck going against the win. I mean, this is totally um, bad. That's it. It's my home navy. Uh, 2858. That's it. Now, look at this. All right, yeah. Spanish fleet was expecting a battle to split to two. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's go. I mean, we get five ally ships, but look at this. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's one gigantic force. And then we got a group right over here I don't know yeah pause for just a moment yeah I don't know um look at this now look at look at the wind northeast so it's coming um like this way so if you look at this like let's go to the first ship and if I put it at full sail, um, and I'll go to this first ship, and I'll put it at full sail, um, and then we'll see what it what they're going to be doing. But um, now here's the one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's five, five ally ships. And look at these guys. <laughs> this is hilarious. I mean, granted, the objective is we just got to destroy six, but um, why do they give the advantage to them? So we're just going to let it rip. And what I'm thinking is uh, I'm going to just show you um, what, like, what, what are they going at, right? Like, uh, Britannia. Yeah, look at this speed. 1.7, 1.8, 1 1.9. What are you doing? Four. Okay, well, that's not too... Well, this is a lighter ship, though. These are lighter. All right, and these... Let's see, where, where's this group right there? So I think I can at least have... You head off that way. You head off that way. You head off that way. And you head off that way. Now we're going to see what the enemy is doing. We can go a little fast, I guess. We can see what the enemy is planning to do. Seeing they're coming basically with the wind. They can do anything they want. I mean, look at this. Now, I don't know if I can go ahead and have... If I keep... Tilt them a little bit, because I want them to be able to shoot at them when they can. And I'm just keeping them on a chain just for now because we're only going, like, this is, like I said, uh, you know, I can't go this way. The ships will stall. They just cannot go that way. This is the only feasible, like, even just going in this line is slow.
But we might. Yeah, matter of fact, we're gonna we're gonna turn. Yeah, so as, as each ship passes, maybe we can get a shot off on them. I mean, it's a lot of deflections and misses, but it's better than nothing, right? Might get lucky and get a good shot, who knows? Like I said, as, as each ship will pass, they'll get to shoot. Alright, and like I said, they're only going at 1.9. And I'm sure these guys are going around 5 or 6, probably. Not, so... Okay, now, I gotta... I'll pause for just a moment and see what is going on here. Wow, I have one ship way over here. Wow, that one went fast. All right, you got to get going over here. Don, boy. Yeah, and and so now I have to cut right. Man, I missed the opportunity. Like, we need to be... Like, I hope... And I hope that this one can make this adjustment. And and what's the problem is, like, I didn't pay attention. You, know, you know, you got to pay attention. I was more paying attention to the second line as opposed to the first line. But, oh, well. Um, Yeah, I'm sorry for my delay on this, but I just want to make sure that the ships are shooting at somebody. No, no, you gotta keep going with, oh boy. So now I gotta click, I gotta click, the, I hope that ship. I gotta make sure that the ship ain't gonna deviate from it, but anyways. Try hitting there, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. He might have broke from the line, but oh well. Yeah, he's going to hit there and he's going to hit there. Okay, so now let's get back over here because this, this is not going the way I wanted it to go.
All right, let's go. Yeah, see this this one. Like I said, okay. Now this is my goof. Is um, he got way ahead. Yeah, and he's gonna stall out. Done. All right, so he's stalling out. So I'm gonna have him head this way. Cause they're gonna just pulverize him. Well, this one has a chance. Oh, it's too bad he couldn't get into that one. That would have been sweet. Darn. Oh, well. Hey, now maybe I can get Swift to turn around. So I got Priscilla coming, so maybe... Come on. That's okay, so... Oh yeah, they're already turning around. So these ships are gonna have to head off that way. That ship is killing these guys. I mean, you know, they have no choice, but we gotta get them. Yeah, look at this. They're all they're all getting destroyed, but it's you know whatever. It's it's what I have to accept. Uh, and this one, it's gonna get blasted by this ship.
Okay, wait, I got something going on fast. No wonder I can't control this. Oh, man, it was on fast. Ugh. Okay, boy, I am telling you. I'm over there trying to do things, and that is just too fast. I mean, it really is. All right, well, what's going on over here? Can you at least shoot him? You know, like, really? And you two... Oh, no, he's going after... Whoa, he's going after the Whitby. Is he the only one? Okay. Man, all right, let me see. No, we got this one right here. Wow, okay. Um, I'm wondering... Like, there is no way I can um, do this. So, therefore, I'm wondering if I take Rhonda and have Rhonda go this way and have Whidbey go off that way, can I pull some of them away from coming after us? Like, Because, like I said, I mean, I, technically I could have took these two to try to take him, but this 900 here is, is the killer right there. So, I mean, I can't really do that. And you've got a big glob of ships right here. And what do we got going on? All right, so this is the crisis area right here. So, yeah, I lost I lost the, the four units that came off that ship. Yeah, and he's even being... Oh, yeah, come on. All right, and you... Oh, and he got away. Oh my god, look at the... And, and we didn't get him on fire, or did we? And all right, so now your job will be to try to get him. Jeez. Man, does this suck. Yeah, we just lost one unit here. And what is with this not... Um Man, we're missing every opportunity to get one of these ships. I mean, seriously. Oh, man. Yeah, so... One fire ship never got to deliver, and I lost 280 guys or whatever. I mean, and that one failed to get this one on fire.
Uh, this is just not going good at all. Well, Diana's gonna miss that one, so now Diana has to go this way. Mary needs to hit this one in the rear, right there. And you gotta somehow get over here to block this one and gee, you gotta catch up to here and you gotta get up here. And yeah, I mean, it looks like that part of it is working. Now, Rachel, what are you? Why don't you anchor for just a moment and shoot at that one right there? Because we could cripple one of those. That would be nice, but. But yeah, I mean, I hate to do that. Where's my other transport? Did I lose it? Oh no, it's right here. Yeah, I mean, I don't... Like I said, it'd be nice to use a couple hundred off of each of these, but... With this giant force, I mean... There is, there is just no way that I can do that. And it goes that way. Yeah, I don't know. And this is something. And we still have these guys over here, wow. All right, well, like I said, this is, uh, trying to figure out what to do here. Um, well, if this one can take that one out, and he's trying to get this one here. Then I won't need this one. Yeah, so this one can try to get over here. Yeah, and this one's got to come this way too, along with that one. Okay. Yeah, because if I can, because this is a 900 here, so I, I, if I can take this one out, I can get close enough. Like, I, I missed, okay, I lost one fire ship that didn't get to do nothing, because these guys just blasted away at it. And the other fire ship missed this, this one. He didn't get on fire, so that was a waste. So I have two fire ships that were a waste. But this one, I know he's going to fire, but it's okay. But we got to make sure we're, we're touching him.
right, and then... Okay, no. Yeah, I don't... Ugh. Okay, I need these guys to, to get on this ship right here. All right, so that worked, finally. Okay, so two fire ships did their job, and two didn't get to deliver, so... That's a pro okay now boy what do I got going on here? Oh <sighs> man. Yeah, this is a log jam. Ugh. Yeah, I just, like I said, this is a tough one. So he'll he'll go down eventually and then can these guys get on that ship get that one back up in the numbers so we can continue on we got two ships that are destroyed well one ship that's destroyed and one that I captured and then this will be the third one to be that one will be the second one to be destroyed excuse me but Victoria has to get out of the way of these big ships so these big ships can get this one. And matter of fact, you need to go maybe over there because he's going to blast you big time. And this one might as well get over here for now. Yeah, I lost a lot of a lot of guys because uh, I lost one fire ship that nobody came off it and it sunk. So that was like two, at least 250, if not 280. And and then these guys shot up a lot of the crews that came off one of the other ships. So I mean, yeah, I nearly lost all of them. So like I said, this is very costly. Just need this 40 to get on this sh ship. And now I can get this ship moving. Alright, and you're gonna ac actually go off that way. Oh. You come that way. You anchor there, you come around. Oh yeah, okay, so you come down this way, we can go after this one. All right, just trying to get a little perspective here. Now, where did that big mass go? Oh, the Whitby and the Rhonda. Let's find where those ships are. Yeah, see, they're all... Oh, no. Uh-oh, we got a problem here. Oh, because I anchored at this one. Mmm, that's not good. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to have to have you go this way. <laughs> okay. Holy, look at this. Oh, wow, look at that.
All right, well, guess what? Oh my God, you're gonna have to go off that way. And same with you. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. <laughs> Man, if I wasn't paying attention, these guys would be blasting this ship. Oh, oh my gosh. That is, look at look at this. Big blob right there. And and if I'm not paying attention to this, he would have just they would maneuver all around him and just blast him into nowhere land. So, alright. Now it looks like this ship's coming down this way. Alright, so like I said, if we can get these ships Oh, and he lost the front mass. Oh well. I'll just have him go off this way then. He's not gonna he ain't gonna be able to hit good knots, maybe. Let's just go to there for now, because maybe you can shoot at him. And this one needs to get going. Yeah, and you might as well boogie on out of here too. If I get you to go that way, you're supposed to anchor. Alright, let's go ahead and get it going. Alright, come on down and come between them to protect this ship. See, even ships on fire can still shoot. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what else is going on in the battle, but right at the very moment, I need to be aware of what's going on here, so. I don't know, it might be better if I can get maybe Britannia right here, she can pound this one. Either way, I gotta get her from over here and get her moving, so. Let's see. All right, so now... And this ship, what is he doing right here? Like, if I could get two ships over there, maybe I could uh, blast them into nowhere land, but I don't know. Now, this is becoming a little difficult at the moment. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Now we should be able to get him. Okay, now let's see what can I possibly do here. We need to close the deal here. Yeah, and let's send this one. Let's just keep blasting him. And where is everybody? <laughs> Look how long it's taken for this one to sink. Okay, so I guess this one considered sunk now. Oh. And we got this one now. Okay, so now let's see, I gotta get two more ships. I got these three now, what can I do with them? Where's the nearest enemy ships? Yeah, I don't know. Rachel's getting hurt. Where is she? Oh man, Rhonda. Yeah, I mean, if I lose Ronda, I mean, that's a big transport ship. That that would hurt. Um, oh, yeah, and we're going to go against this 900. That's not good.
Yeah, I don't know. Where can I go to get two more ships? Alright, hey, maybe this one can get over here to shoot this one in the rear. And maybe this one can do the same. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, man, I can't believe how hard this is, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. I, like, I, I, you know what I think? Honestly, I, I should take all of my best ships and, and just make the six fire ships. You know, I'm going to lose six ships. They will lose six. And that'll be the end of this because there's just too many ships here to deal with i mean really like what do you think about this i mean Yeah, I'll have this one anchor here and blast him in the rear. This one will come over here and...
Boy, I'll tell you, this is extremely hard. Even not paying, only doing this and not paying attention to anything else going on in this battle. It's making it very difficult. Like, I'm thinking to send this one over there. And this one to try to get that one. And if... Oh, and I got Britain. Hey, so she came here. So, all right, she's got to get over here. Alright, so I think what I can do is, is, yeah, try to get these two to get that ship there. And if I could just... Alright, look, you guys got to move, man. Just trying to sail and get away. Now the only problem with this part here is he, he gets the fire as we try to approach. Yeah, what just happened here? Okay, now. Now, what happened here? Oh, did I leave a ship just sitting here? Yeah, I might have. Darn it. Yeah. So I just, oh, uh, like, yeah, I had him, uh, like, I should have, any ship, I should not have them anchored anywhere. Let me check every ship. Yeah, you're just gonna get out of here. Yeah, no, no, every ship should be moving. Yeah, so I just took a, a loss of a ship for no reason at all. And that's why I should have had, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I have to go back into this battle, I'm coming in with, uh, I'm gonna take all six of my fifth rates and I'm gonna make them all fire ships. I don't care. And I'm just going to get the six that I need, and then I'll use this, the um, allies I will use to, you know, get anything extra, but... Okay, what do we got going here? Uh, that's not what I wanted to plan, but... Man, why can't these ships catch up?
on, I gotta get this ship over here. I mean, a Britannia is a ally ship, so if I lose it, I don't think it... Okay, so we lost Britannia, but this one's now boarding and anchor the captain, captain anchor, and drop out. Oh, yeah, and both ships give up. Come on, this is not legitimate at all. That is not legitimate. This, you got to be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, go. That is just totally ridiculous. Both ships gave up and he keeps his 500. This one had 500 and they just gave up. I can finish. Well, I'm finishing then. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. I mean, like I said, I, you're gonna have to tell me what you think of this battle. Um, yeah, look what I faced. 27,520. 44 ships. Um, and I, and I actually lost a couple of ships that I didn't even pay attention to, and two of my fire ships didn't even work. You know, like one got destroyed before it even got anywhere and the other one missed the target so that was two waste there and then I had a I had I think I lost let's see but yeah look at this right I mean like I said if I was gonna do this again I will make all my fifth rates um, fire ships I'll take the guns off put the barrels on and I will just go for the six and then use the allies to just grab a couple of trophies I guess and that'll be about that if I am I gonna come back and do this battle, but I gotta see how bad this was because um Okay, Rhonda got light. These are the two transports. So light and light. Yeah, Rachel. Yeah, Rachel was a forty gun ship, so she was not a fire ship, and she was just sitting there and boom, got destroyed. That that was the one that just when it showed four deaths of um units. Um, so yeah, so by not paying attention, like what I could have done is any of those ships, like I said, I could have made them all fire ships. But in this battle that you just witnessed me doing, um, what I should have done, and uh, I should not have anchored any of those 40 gun ships. Like they, they should have all been moving in some direction. And using the two transports to get the big group to follow them was a good plan um but uh yeah look at this right i mean so yeah um i don't even know what to say about this like i said i can do this again uh and just bring in uh, you know like like i said i can i can turn my whole fleet into fire ships i don't even care um yeah and I lost a lot. Look at this. It's all because four of these guys were sitting on Rhonda and she got blasted and just blew up. So, I mean, and, and, and it's only because I had her anchored. Like, and, like, do not anchor any of the ships here because they have uh, so many ships. Yeah, and so really I only captured two and I, I won't even be able to, I'll, I'll have to get... Uh, rep for them because uh, you know I don't have none, none. I have zero. So yeah, so I'm not even gonna have a fleet because of the fact that you know. Okay, so one captured. So I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see the ship 
that got captured and one and five got sunk two sunk two captured yeah i i don't understand that but yeah that that is just that is just terrible it, it makes me want to just come back in with with six fire ships and be done with it so either way i'm going to lose ships i mean either way i'm going to lose and look at let's look at my fleet it's going to be nothing I mean, this is probably the end of my campaign. I mean, I, I just, I, you know, I can't believe it. Because if you come in with with junkier fire ships, right? If you come in with junkier fire ships, I, I think I'll run there, so. Whoop. So Ronda came back, so I'm like, who was the ship that got destroyed? Oh, I must, you know, whatever. So, no. Oh, and they, oh, they gave me Victoro. Victoria, and I already had one deemed that. So they, they gave me, they just gave me a first-rate ship. Victory. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I am... It's... Yeah, and we don't, we need 40 and we don't have any, so I, I won't be able to take in any of these 68 gunships. Yep. Wow, look at this. Alright, no, this ship is supposed to be named Victoria. Because they gave me the victory. Yeah, this was pretty bad. Like, so those transports, all they did was let the whole group follow them. So yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't even have a, I don't even have a navy, and I, I lost. Uh, you get a ribbon right here. The British Empire. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, this is hilarious. So we got the victory. Great. Gave us some career points. I. Yeah, I don't even know. All right, well, let's take a look at this one. She comes with eight. Okay, so the, the good thing is she comes with 800. And she comes with these guns. Bloomfields. All right, let me see here. Yeah, so the only role that these ships did was to just 
let the enemy follow them. <laughs> that was about it. And some of these got really... Like, like they had no role other than try to just get away and they got hit a few times and... The minimum that they could be is 60 so I gotta go ahead and pump some guys in there just so that way I don't see that it's... They need it. Oh, and... And he got his first perk. How nice. Yeah, because he was, he was a rookie unit. Oh, here's the other rookie. Hey, and he, he did get a prick. Okay, well it gives me two transports that have guns and one first rate and two fifth rates. That's that's all my navy like ay ay ay. Now I could look at the shop and I could buy a third rate I guess. I could buy a brig, make that a fire ship. Yeah, like, what do I even need for these right here? Just need two ships. And I need two ships. So why don't I buy... I'll buy one. We have 20 of these and we have 24 of these. And then we have 20 of these. So don't have to buy six. And we have 82 of these. I won't have to buy any. Alright, without putting any upgrades on the ship, I can get 750 on it. I still have 30,000.
Okay, there. Alright, no damage. Heavy and sunk. We got 15,005 rep. And for Mad Queen, we got only 9,000 in that. And heavy damage. New pages of glory were added in the history of the Royal Navy, despite being outnumbered in both. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's just telling about what happened. I mean, that, that, that was, that battle, I don't know what to tell you. 50, ah, so now it's going to cost me 50% more to repair a ship. So that, my friends, is a negative. That's a negative reward right there. So I wonder why that's like that. Okay. All right. Well, as you can see, my Navy doesn't look good at all, but um, it's all that I can do. And what's this one? This is another one where I probably have to sink a whole bunch of ships. So I somehow have to have, uh, I gotta have seven, but we can have 10 total. So that'll be for another day for me to try to uh, figure that out. So we're just gonna go right here and say after Harbor and call it a day because like I said, I don't know. I don't even know, like, as if I should try that battle again and just make six uh, fire ships and, and only bring those six. Do not bring any other ship. Although, if I repeat what I just did, I would have to have some ships, like those transports, so those other ships can follow them off the map, maybe. So yeah, I'd have to. I'd still have to bring in a couple extra ships. To just be decoys, I guess. But anyways, I don't know what to tell you, folks. I don't know if I even can continue this. Tell me what you think. But wherever you are in the world, have a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. This is Jeff wishing you the best. Be kind to each other. God bless to you and your own religion. Adios, amigos.